John Tavilius. This is my wife, Batty. We reside in approximately the center of North Dakota by a little town called Bowdoin. So it's, it's really hard to reflect back and I know we've been at least 12 years with Red Angus Bowls. And I guess what, what spoke to you the most, Patty, about using them? Facility. <laughs> facility would be an absolute major factor. I would have to say my first word is predictability. Due to the fact of all the testing, and all the DNA and everything that's been done in this breed, it just seems as though they've been first on total herd reporting and the purity that's within has been a real a real helper so we've just continued to improve we've knocked a lot of weight off of our mother cows and yet we've we've actually been growing on our weaning weights and since we've done this um both and finally learning how to choose bulls correctly and doing a good job with that. DNA testing, running through the red navigator and just paying attention to paperwork and the best record keeper I have is right here beside me actually. So if you're going to do the data you need to get everything out of it you can and uh, I don't feel that we are but we're close enough to definitely keep doing it. So. In 12 years, it's been quite a great run that way, and look forward to the next, what, 30, yes, 35, 45, 40 years? Yes, 45. something like that, yeah. right. So, through the years, um, we are buying bulls at different places, and, and we felt like we were getting better. We were getting our herd evened out. We were getting a better and better set of calves for for a grid master and uh, by rounding them up out of the pasture selling them to the same person every day the question occurred to me what if this guy's in a car accident and he can't do this anymore and so at that time we looked to superior livestock in meeting with superior livestock the question occurred that why are you not weaning your calves why are you not backgrounding why aren't you taking care of them in a way to make buyer confidence stand out and that was a good question why weren't we doing that well that was very easy we didn't have any facilities so we turned to a feedlot 30 miles away from here and uh, had a really good experience that first year but what we saw was that our genetics were were working and our cattle would gain very well for us in 45 days. So then from there we progressed and felt comfortable starting to use the uh, FCC tag. And that definitely got the market's attention on superior livestock. From our superior livestock experience and with Clint Berry as our representative, he will just kind of share and <clears throat> guide you through and, and help you make better decisions. So from that, we have decided that we're going to move on with the EID tags. Um, the EID tags have, have been around for over 10 years. They are gaining technology. They are improving. They're getting better. And in the future, we're gonna see some, some really great things happen for those EID tags. And the number one reason is placement in the ear and they're not gonna get lost. So the next guy that buys your calves has a far, far better chance of each calf qualifying at the end of the day for their agent source verification. So I, I just expect a lot better with the EID. And the traceability, I look forward to the traceability. I want people to know where this came from. Yeah. And I, I just, I think that it's what the buyers want, what the consumers want. They want to know where those cattle are born, raised, fed, and how they're taken care of. I think that's the next step. So by having the FCC 
program at the present time that just takes all thoughts and questions away and they can they can know what they have and it's but we are genuine i mean we build everything by reputation and, and we need that to to be very genuine right. and it's not any more expensive than buying a tag at the store and putting it in your calf but it's it's not a hard process i guess that's what drew me to it to begin with you just thought you know, how much paperwork am I going to have to do? It's always how much work you have to put into it. And it's it's a very easy, keep track of your numbers, send them to the Red Angus Association, and within two days, you'll have an email and their agent source verified. Of all things that we do, of all third-party verified programs, or yeah. anything that we do, this is the easiest one by far. In, in my in my opinion i've i can honestly say i've never worked with a better easier group of people in that office they just all i mean not and they're not just all in the office they it's just a good reliable organization and if you're not well versed with the reading association feel free to do that because they're very approachable very easy to talk to people and they really have the, the ability to adapt and call you back and tackle technology with, uh, with very worthy new ideas. It's a very, very good group to uh, just chat with once in a while.